Hello dear aspirants and welcome to the YouTube channel of The Study. We hope that all of you would be safe and healthy in your homes in the critical crisis of COVID pandemic going on in the country. In the previous session, we had discussed a topic of sources of ancient Indian history and a quick revision of history series. Moving forward in the same series, let's start with today's session. Today we will gather information about the prehistoric period. Prehistoric period. In geological terms, Earth is about 4 to 8 billion years old and life started on it about 3 to 5 billion years ago. The geological time period of the Earth is divided into Mahakalpas era and each Mahakalpa era is divided into several Kalpas called periods and Kalpas into several Yugas called epochs. Humans are living in the fourth phase of the last Mahakalpa Nutan Jiva or Cenozoic Mahakalpa era in geological history. It is called Quaternary. They are Three epochs under this. Three epochs. Holocene up to 10,000 years ago. Pleistocene up to 20 lakh years ago. Pliocene from 1 crore to 20 lakh years ago. Three very large mammalian families emerged in the Pleistocene epoch. These were the ancestors of modern horses, elephants and cattle. These animal motifs are collectively called the Villa Francis organism groups. About 2 million years ago, a group of Mahakapi giant apes known as Rampithekas split into two groups. One of its branch remained in the forest, but the other branch preferred to live in open grassland. It came to be known as Australapithecus. They were the original ancestors of humans. Later, it was called Erectus, Neanderthal, Cro-Magnon, and finally developed into modern human Homo sapiens 30,000 years ago. Fossils of primordial humans are not found in India. The earliest existence of human being in India is indicated by stone tools which have been dated from about 5 lakh BC to 2.5 lakh BC. But recently the presence of human has been determined about 14 lakh years ago at a place called Bori. The history of accessibility of studies is divided into various period. Prehistoric period, protohistoric period and historic period. Prehistoric period comprises of from beginning to up to 300 BC. Protohistoric period from 300 BC to 600 BC and historic period after 600 BC. The prehistoric period is divided into three major stages. Major stages Paleolithic age from 5 lakh BC to 10,000 BC, Mesolithic age from 10,000 BC to 6,000 BC, and Neolithic age from after 6,000 BC. Let us now talk about the Paleolithic period. The Paleolithic civilization of India developed from Pleistocene or the Ice Age. Indian Paleolithic period is divided into three stages based on nature of stone tools used by humans and the changes in climate. These three stages were Lower Paleolithic age from 5 lakh to 50,000 BC, Middle Paleolithic age from 50,000 to 40. 40,000 BC and Upper Paleolithic Age from 40,000 to 10,000 BC. Let us now talk about Lower Paleolithic Age. Most of the part of this period has gone through the Pleistocene or the Ice Age. The important tools of this period were the hand axe of Vidarini, Cleaver and Khandaka, Chopper. In 1863, Robert Brassfoot obtained the first hand axe from a site called Pallavaram near Madras. At the same time, a similar axe was obtained from Atiram Pakkam. In this era, core tools were predominant. The following Paleolithic sites are found in almost all the regions of the Indian subcontinent. These include the Valley of Assam. An important lower Paleolithic site is found in the Sohan Valley. It is known as Sohan culture. Sohan is a small tributary of the Indus, which is also known as Sohan. Sohan Valley tools has been named as Pre-Sohan, Later Sohan, Chantara and developed Vikasit Sohan. Under the later period Sohan, some plank of quartzite Sohan, pebbles of Sohan civilization and hand eggs of Madras tradition are found in the instruments obtained from Chantra. It seems that Chantra was a meeting place of northern and southern traditions. In addition, near the Narbada Valley, Narsingpur, Bhimbetka, Nivasa in Maharashtra, Didwana in Rajasthan, Sabamati and Mahi Valleys in Gujarat, Belanghati in Uttar Pradesh, Shingbhum in Jharkhand and 
नेल्लोर एंड गेदालूर इन आंध्र प्रदेश आर इम्पोर्टेंट लोअर पेलियोलिथिक आर्कोलॉजिकल साइट्स लोअर पेलियोलिथिक आर्कोलॉजिकल साइट्स हैव नॉट बीन फाउंड इन द एल्यूवियल प्लेन्स ऑफ गंगा यमुना एंड एंथस पीपल ऑफ दिस पीरियड यूज क्वार स्टोन दीज पीपल वेर हंटर्स एंड फूड गैदर लेट इज नॉट टॉक अबाउट द मिडल पेलियोलिथिक पीरियड एन इम्पोर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ द मिडल पेलियोलिथिक पीरियड वॉज द चेंज इन रॉ मटीरियल यूज ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड क्वारजाइट एज वेल एज जैसपर एंड चर्ट वॉज ऑल्सो यूज एज मेजर raw materials the sites of the middle paleolithic period was are usually associated with the whole country such as nevasa in maharashtra singhum in jharkhand chakia in uttar pradesh singroli basin in belan valley bheem betkan son valley in madhya pradesh shaurashtra region in gujarat etc however there are not as many sites recovered in the northwest region as they are in the peninsula region the main reason for this is believed to be lack of suitable raw materials in punjab core flake and blade tools have been found from this period the middle paleolithic period has been referred to as the flake culture due to the abundance of flakes now let's talk about the upper paleolithic period the expansion of the upper paleolithic period was accompanied by the last phase of the ice age when the climate became relatively warm and the humidity decreased in this period the main material for the for making tools were long puffed flakes the preponderance of burials and scraper tools increased in the instrument and equipment of this period the role of bone tools also became important in this period important sites of this period are son valley madhya pradesh singhum jharkhand jogdaha bhimbetka rampur badelan of madhya pradesh bagor patne bhadane and inam gaon in maharashtra reni gunta vemula Kurnool caves in Andhra Pradesh, Shorapur, Doab of Karnataka, and Old Pushkar of Rajasthan, etc. Along with this, art developed both in in carvings and painting forms. The idol of bone built Matri Devi, obtained from Loha Danala in Belan Valley, is of this period. In Bhim Betka, located in the Vindhya region, paintings of various periods are seen. In this primitive era. of civilization man was not familiar with fire agriculture work and animal husbandry and neither knew how to manufacture utensils humans of this period were consumers of food items not producers this period was has special significance for two reason first the development of homo sapiens in this period and second the tools used in this period was made up of flint which was a type of stone so in this way we came to know about the paleolithic stone age let us now talk about the middle stone age or mesolithic age the middle stone age was first discovered in 1867 by c l carlile with the discovery of miniature stone tools in the vindhya region in fact the Middle Stone Age refers to the transition period between the Paleolithic period and Neolithic period. Even during this period man remained mainly a food gatherer, but the technique of hunting has transformed. Now they started hunting small animals as well as big animals too. Earliest evidence of animal husbandry is found in Adamgarh in Madhya Pradesh and Bagaur in Rajasthan. Dog was first domesticated here. The attempt to develop ballistic technology was a significant change of this period. Arrow archers first developed in this period. The tools of this period were very small hence they were called microliths. The main site of this period are Veer Bhanpur in West Bengal, Langbaj in Gujarat, Terai group in Tamil Nadu, Adamgarh in Madhya Pradesh, Bagaur in Rajasthan, Sara Narai and Mahadaha in Ganga Valley etc. The first remains of human bones have been obtained from Sasaraha Nahar Rai and Mahadaha in this period. Early evidences of human attack or war was obtained from Sarai Naharai. Stone tools as well as human skeletons are also obtained from Bagore of this period. Animal bones, cemeteries and other earthen utensils have also been obtained from Langanas along with Mesolithic tools the evidence of use of fire was first obtained from the middle stone age distinguishes it from the paleolithic period evidence of trough stoves has been obtained from langanas and sara naharai and mahadaha the method of burial is the unique feature of this period as evidences of this is not found in the paleolithic age 17 male skeletons have been found from lakhia 
most of which have their head in the west direction there is evidence of burial along with men and women in some tomb of mahadaha in rajasthan a number of mesolithic sites of sambar lake deposits have been found among them narwa govindgarh and lakhwa are prominent evidences of world's oldest plantation has been found from here let us now talk about the neolithic period The basic element of Neolithic period is the development of information on food production and domestication of animals. Sir John Lubbock was the first to use the word Neolithic in 1865 AD. The following characteristics of Neolithic period are start of agricultural work, development of animal husbandry, construction of plain and polished tools of stones beginning of village community mehargarh the oldest neolithic settlement in the indian subcontinent which is located in baluchistan province of pakistan provides pre- preliminary evidence of agriculture it is about 7000 ad year old major places during this period are the belan valley of uttar pradesh reni gunta andhra pradesh son valley madhya pradesh singh bhum jharkhand burza home and gufkaral kashmir etc many bastions pottery and stone and bone tools have been obtained from burza home and gulfkaral both forest and agricultural evidences are found from kol dihwa in belan valley this is the oldest evidence of paddy cultivation their time period has been determined as 6000 bc to 5000 bc in the recent research evidences of the oldest trees have been found in lahura dev uttar pradesh the earliest evidence of the use of pottery has been found from chopani mando the most important structure has been found in the form of gaushala and mahagara 3 km from chopani mando apart from this other neolithic sites in the central ganges valley are chirand chaichar senwar taradi etc Similarly in eastern India Assam the Garo hills of Meghalaya and in southern India Muski Brahmagiri Hallur Kodakkal Piklihal in Karnataka Sangankalan Tekkalkotta and Pochampalli in Tamil Nadu and Uttaranur in Andhra Pradesh are major neolithic sites Ragi was first crop grown in southern india so friends thus we have learned about the prehistorical period we'll learn the further story ahead in the next session till then stay safe stay home stay tuned with us and please don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you